everyone! I'm Nadia from the Cognito Forms team. In this video, we're going to learn all about workflow link sharing, a feature available to organizations on the team and enterprise plans. Workflow links are the driving force behind creating workflows in Cognito Forms. When an individual within your workflow receives a workflow link, they're able to access role based entry data as well as perform any available actions on the entry. Before you enable this feature, you'll want to make sure that you've set up the necessary roles for your workflow. Roles enable you to customize a form based on who's working on it. In this example, the public role represents an employee submitting an expense report, while the internal role represents a manager reviewing the submitted entry. You can also use the other role type to create an optional role based on your own conditions. Once your roles are in place, select Workflow on the Build page and enable Workflow Link Sharing. Depending on the needs of your workflow, you can choose to always allow Workflow Link Sharing or select When to conditionally allow it. For example, you may want to discontinue the use of Workflow Links once a status changes to Completed. You can also customize the message that appears when the workflow link is not available. Next, you can update the authentication settings for your workflow links. Enabling authentication on your form adds an extra layer of security by restricting form access to just members of your organization. Select Always to ensure that only these users can access workflow links. You can also require authentication for specific roles in your workflow. Next, open the email notification to customize the link sharing email template. This template is connected to the Share Entry option on the Entries page. Here you can customize all the details included by default. Then, using the Share Entry option, you can manually select the workflow link role and send out workflow links as needed. You may or may not need to use this manual notification, but we recommend setting it up just in case. Also, if your form is embedded, don't forget to enter the URL where the form is located on your website. With workflow link sharing enabled, you can now include a workflow link in any confirmation message or email notification. For example, let's say that an employee submits a new expense report. Upon submission, we need to notify the manager and allow them to approve or deny the form. In this case, we can open the Submit Action settings and add a new email. Enter the manager's email address in the To field and set the email to Send Always. Also, set the default reply to address to the employee's email address. Then, use the Share Workflow Link option to include a manager workflow link in the email. Lastly, make sure to save your changes. If the manager chooses to deny the report, we'll want to make sure that the employee can update their form as needed and submit it again. In this case, we can just open the Deny Action settings and add another notification email. Set the To address to the employee's email address and update the subject line. Then include an employee workflow link in the email. Finally, don't forget to save both the email settings and your form. Now, when an employee submits a new expense report, the manager will get notified immediately via email. They can then open the included workflow link to review the entry and hit Approve or Deny. If they hit Deny, the employee will receive an email letting them know that their entry was denied, along with a workflow link that allows them to update the entry. If you'd like to learn more about setting up automated workflows in Cognito Forms, be sure to check out our user guides as well as our pre-built workflow templates.